to some degree, doing the entire um, space needs process over again, but with a city county uh, shared space. And then two is to keep moving forward on uh, picking up preliminary design and cost estimation uh, for the Columbia lot, but conjoined with replacement and ideally expansion of parking. And um, the point of doing both of those simultaneously is so that we can get prices on both and we can hear from if the county is in or out and if the county is out, then we uh, don't need to embark on, a, on another set of uh, solicitation and award. We'll have an alternative ready to go. What kind of time frame for that, Will? For so we would you know be able to present that to the county or whoever would present that to the county. Yeah, I, I'm on my third draft of it with our consultants, um, and uh, just as uh, the freeze and um, your act stuff has kind of taken precedence in the past week. Um, but I'm hoping to re-engage on that and um, get the RFP. Um, you know, I, I'll hopefully in the next week or two have a have a final draft that can um, go out for comments and be reviewed by the county. And you, do we know if the county is going to, they might even say no at that point, if, if possible? Or... Oh. Uh, we'll expect that they'll have uh, that Jeff will have input, and he we've already he's already seen um, iterations, uh, and just make sure that it fits in line with what he thinks that his commissioners need, um, and then we'll put it out and get costs. And at that point, I think it will, uh, once we get the responses back, I think the county will uh, will know the price tag and have that in order to support their decision. questions on that process and how that would work megan yeah i mean i guess i go back to myself but like working with the county is definitely my my top priority if at all possible and i'm wondering um how you see that process going of you know i, I guess they, again kind of in the, in the same as the last time but we're not just saying like okay are you in or out right now like answer us because we're going to keep going forward but how do we really give them a uh, like collaborative opportunity to engage um, how, how are you picturing that process yeah well we won't issue the solicitation until the county signs off on it and says that this this is yes the project that they think that they need to embark on um and uh and then uh, i'm sure they'll be uh, on the evaluation team as well uh uh, in the meetings with the proposers. Um, you know, I think we're really excited uh, about a city county uh, project and we want to make it a success. Um, you know, I think we're all in on, on trying to figure this out because it's uh, what we hear everyone in the community who has an opinion on this say that um, it's what they're interested in. Uh, I think just setting expectations though, the numbers are going to be very hard, I think, to pencil out. Um, it, it, the financial analysis, I believe, um, came out with about $35 million would be would be produced if we did a countywide. Um, and but instead of doing a 13,000 square foot building, we're talking about doing a 60,000 square foot building. And just to be completely upfront and honest, an expectation set is uh, $35 million doesn't get you a 60,000 square foot courthouse, sheriff's office, and, and police station. So. Um, we're going to continue working on that um, and giving it everything we've got. Um, but I do also don't want to uh, sort of ignore some of the arithmetic uh, realities of it as well. Eric? Just a quick process question. So by accepting this report, that's just accepting this as a factual piece of information. We're not adopting it. Right. Correct. It's just uh, we're finishing up the contract, and the final each one of these pieces has uh, you know gone through uh, in prior city council meetings, and this is just putting together with uh, a set of recommendations, which uh, pretty much uh, uh, just just describe the path that we're on right now. 
Uh, Mark? Yeah, um, I, I, I like how you did the sum up for the, for the next steps. That's, that's great. I, I really think the, the a, a joint community-wide thing with county and city is the, the big win, even though it's a lot more moving pieces and stuff. I, I agree with Will with your, we, we're going to need numbers. And I think we're going to need to give the county thing some termination time with the county commissioners. Um, I don't know what, I don't have a real sense of what that looks like. Maybe that's on council to work with the um, commissioners and find out if the political will is there in the next X amount of you know, months, years to, to do it. Um, and, and, and I think that that's, that's a fair thing too. I don't quite have a suggestion of how we best organize that. But um, uh, I just want to make sure that we're giving the, the joint project the oxygen and the water it needs to see if it can bloom through, you know, as a, as a preferred choice. And then, but being prepared to, to go the city way if, if that's the solution. So um, I guess for today, I just want to say that you know, the preferences county you see we're preparing for a fallback but it's not two equal things it's we're preparing for a fallback to the to the one so that's that's my opinion and councilor examiner just um assure you that that's we're giving it full thrift uh we're giving it uh full effort and uh that's why it's taking a little bit more time if we were just speeding ahead on the uh, police uh, facility on Columbia lot, we already have a solicitation ready to go. Uh, but I really want to make sure that it's uh, this RFP is uh, really clear, really well thought out, and gives the city county option its its best chance. Yeah, and I, I feel like I'm sort of keeping my powder dry for this discussion, just politically. Um, but having a sense within this, you know, with the whole council of yeah, we should be actively discussing with, you know, county, county commissioners and, and bringing that, those discussions back. Are we at that point now, or are we waiting for the RFP? What's your, what's the advice slash opinion? Rachel, do you have uh, input on that? Uh, if I'm hearing you correctly, Councilor Hamler, um, I think you're asking if it's time to, to talk about the potential here for a joint facility. Absolutely. Um, I mean, for those counselors who see that as as a as a, an important thing for the community to be pursuing, absolutely, it's completely up to you. Um, there's no reason not to. Right, like like I said, I was sort of feeling like we were waiting for one more piece of coordinating work to to put put a structure to that discussion. Um, I've had some small, um, but. But uh, I think that if now is the time, then that's great. We should do our job. Yeah. <laughs>